a community of hope and love that has been serving families in the CSRA since 1984. Ronald McDonald House Charities of Augusta is located just steps away from the Children's Hospital of Georgia, so they can take care of families with critically injured and seriously ill children. That's right. President and CEO David Jacobson joins us now in the Mix Studios to tell us more about the organization. Hi, David. Good afternoon. Thanks. Thank you for having me with you. Oh, thanks for joining us. So for those who are not uh, familiar with the Ronald McDonald of Augusta, so tell us what it is and what's the mission. The mission of our RMHC is really an incredible uh, worldwide organization. Uh, and it started 50 years ago. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be celebrating the 50th anniversary this October of the first house, which was in Philadelphia. Um, and it is a place that is when a family has a child in care, it recognizes that it's not just the child that needs support um, and care, it's the entire family. Uh, and so Ronald McDonald House Worldwide um, provides essential services so that uh, we can remove barriers, uh, we can strengthen families and help promote healing for children uh, while they're in care. Let's talk about some of those programs that the house can offer here for families. Uh, we're fortunate right here in, in Augusta with the, the Children's Hospital of Georgia uh, provides such excellent care. It attracts families from all over the world to come here. When those families come, they need a place to live while their child's in treatment. And so we've got just steps away from the hospital is where the uh, Ronald McDonald House is. Uh, we've been there for the past 10 years, but we've been 40 years um, alongside as a partner with the Children's Hospital, uh, keeping families close to their, to their uh, child. And what happens is we provide a home for up to 23 families uh, every night. Uh, and those families are there. We provide meals for them. We've got volunteers from the community that come in and cook meals for them every night, uh, which is just wonderful to get that home-cooked meal. Yeah. Our goal is really to reduce the stress for families so that they can just focus on the care for their child. That is amazing. And David, how does this process work for families to reach out? Or is that a process that the, the hospital begins contacting you? How does it work? We do have a, have a, pro, a process in place. And we work with the, um, with the hospitals and the uh, nursing staff and the uh, social work staff. And so that they refer families to us. Um, and one of the things that's, that, that I think is special, uh, this community really comes together and uh, provides the support so that we don't charge for any uh, any of our services right. to families. Uh, it's we're 100% supported by the philanthropy of this community, um, and so of course we've got our our founding and forever partner McDonald's that does uh, quite a bit for us. Um, I will encourage you when you go through the line at McDonald's and they ask you to round up, say yes because that money stays local. Um, uh, that stays here and helps us take care of families. Uh, but the social workers refer a family to us and then families, as long as their child's in care, can stay with us. And we have several families that their child may be in care three or four times during the year. And they come back and stay with us each time. It's an organization that we're proud to be helpful out with as yes. well as the Children's Hospital of Georgia. David, what would you say is the most rewarding part of working at Ronald McDonald of Augusta? And the most rewarding part is just looking at the way in which um, families come in and often families think they're the only ones going through this, um, that they've, no one knows how they feel. And then they come in and all of a sudden they're surrounded by other families going through the same thing. And we've got a number of volunteers. Some of volunteers have been with us for 10, 15, 20 years. And the, the, the volunteers are with us often because they've been through it. Um, and as families learn that there's other people that, that care about them and support them and go through it, uh, those relationships end up uh, lasting a, a really long time and become part of the healing themselves so that families have someone else to talk about. Um, and being able to, to be a part of that um, and, and to know that, you know, our job is really to make sure that families have what, what they need and bring, being able to bring everybody together, uh, that's just special. It's truly it's a labor of love. It is. It really is. And then for those interested in helping, where should they go for more information? If they want to become volunteers, what should they do? We are always looking for volunteers. And the best way is to go to our website, which is uh, rmhcaugusta.org rmhcaugusta.org. Um, and you can learn more about the, the organization, more about our programs. You can learn how to get involved in, in the different fundraising activities that we have, uh, as well as uh, volunteering. And we, 
we're always looking for volunteers. So that there, there are all sorts of things you can do, whether it's uh, working a, a regular shift within the house for three hours. Um, we use a lot of volunteers. It's one of the ways we keep our costs down uh, as an organization so that we can continue to do that. Um, but we can also volunteer for uh, something special we have coming up, the RMHC Hospitality Cart, which uh, is going to be going room by room throughout the Children's Hospital to be able to extend comfort and care to families within the hospital. Great. Um, and, and we're excited about that. Well, uh, not, may, many may not know this, but David's just now coming to the area and taking over the <laughs> position here, so let us be one of the first ones to uh, welcome you here well, to the CSRA. Yes, welcome. Thank you. And uh, we appreciate you coming on the show and telling us all about Ronald McDonald House of Augusta. I appreciate it.